Hello everybody and welcome back to some Red Dead Redemption. This is episode 5. I'm gonna be doing some stuff. Um, Undead Nightmare should be released shortly after this one is, hopefully. So yeah, you know what? Just, let's, oh come on. After 8 p.m., what time is it? So it's 1 a.m. So I'll go, I'll go to sleep. Give false testimony except for profit. And I can except tell for you with nice. no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service, at the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Oh, Lord. Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then, they would be. <laughs> would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just two dollars an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir... I do a bulk discount rate of oh one my God. five an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy a hundred ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Oh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> um, listen, Marston, okay. I'm broke, but this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come on, oh, let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain why we go. Okay, okay as long as you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> to Ridgewood Farm, the sick and needy await us. Oh, the life of a wandering saver of souls. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Am I driving? Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be able to just sit back and relax in this day and age? I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I am about you, John Marston. Hoodwink in the week. Gullible out of their hard earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill informed scuttle. You're as full of wind as a horse with a cub. I am blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. Oh, do they? Thousands of happy customers attest to that. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine metal in which you find me? Get back on the road! You'll we'll have nothing left by the time we get to Ridgewood! Last time you saw me, I was not in the death door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing old fellow there has never been. And so shall you prepare Diablo or Cassio Maker. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The body. Yeah, John. Man, this game. We're going to use 
your God-given talents to Oliver and Ben. I'm really starting to regret that. I'll off the outskirts of Bridgewood. Yeah. I'm really excited to about this too. Saunter and nonchalantly into the cloud that is sure to be formed. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the king. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your life. Work, I assure you. You hop oh, out here, John. Beautiful. Follow me in on foot. Okay. Sounds good. I'll see you there. Be ready. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're going out to this poor farm again. Oh my god. I just ran that man over. Well, you guys cleaned up pretty quick. What do you want to tell me, that? Friends, hardworking souls of Chola Springs, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic? Uh, uh, Neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, crunches, dislocations, this guy's looking into it. and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by... Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay uh. attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East oh, keeps Lord. the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science oh, will be vindicated. Is that so? Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friends? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Fine. Shoot it now. Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle. Granted by imbibing Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try to shoot my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case Got has it. been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Is that so? Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Get ready to shoot that hat. Come on now. Have you ever seen such an eye? Behold the power of the elixir plucked out of the sky. Hey! Hey! What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just 
walk away, do you? But it don't work like that around right here, mister. Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Look at this fellow. Damn, okay. Forgot the fight for a second. Oh, God. Nope. Nope. Eat it. Yeah. Skeptics and dissenters, irrefutable proof. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Watch out! He's got a gun! Who in the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive! Oh, hey, marvelous shot, dear boy! The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens Elixir! Come! I have plenty for all! Nice, nice, nice. Oh, wow, made him a millionaire. Well, I think that yeah. kind of well, don't you? Yeah, oh, wait, for sure. Where's my half? My normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and I, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Oh. The Greeks bearing gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend Seth. I, oh, Seth. Curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. He's a most often found at Coots Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Great. All right, great. Let's go. Oh, wow, horse, calm down. Okay, do we have Seth as an option yet? No, not yet. Okay, we're gonna go to Bonnie then. We're going to Bonnie. Let me guess, this is gonna be the storm one. Alrighty. Maybe I'll just fast travel from fucking Armadillo. Great, what's going on over here? Is it a person? Because if not, I really don't care. Hello? Hello? Hello there. Howdy, miss. Uh, what are you doing out here? Um, I'm thinking. Have I seen you before? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. On the train uh. from Blackwater, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Yeah. Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Uh, uh, what is your hat uh, doing? I'm safe because I, I have faith. So uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. You're trying to move a mountain? Oh, no, uh, I can't. I can. I can achieve great things. <laughs> I know that. I know it. Yeah, well, you can't achieve much you things out here. Man? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, uh, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. 
Uh, here? All the things that'll kill you, including illness. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Oh. Well, take care then. <coughs> I can't do that. Do I have medicine? Miss Jenny. <coughs> Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. Oh, oh heavens. Oh, praise you, Lord. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Excuse me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. Tell me, <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. I, I'm in heaven. <coughs> Yeah. 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 Here it is. The final test. There. Now I should go back. And yes, I did mean to shoot. I did mean to shoot the head, just for your guys. I mean the hat, just for your guys' information. That's why I was focusing so hard. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go down to Mexico. Not quite yet. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm never going to make it back at this rate. Oh, but this is what this is about, you know, just hanging out. Let's go. Getting what we can. Done. Okay, good. Oh, so much better. Oh, this 
is where I get my last well, so Mr. Let's Marston. Go. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. Right. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. Oh, geez, yeah. My children and I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out yeah, agents right. to yeah. covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may uh, be right, sir. Pretty much. Fuck the federal government. You're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. Sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is it? <laughs> Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. Don't you know? <laughs> oh, I'm definitely no city dweller. But, you know, it is what it is. You're going to need this, Mr. Marston. Oh, that's convenient. I need this. Trust me. Let's see if we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch man said there's a pack of wild horses nearby. Well, how? Well, how do you need, partner? on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I yeah. saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret it sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eye. Yes, they would. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? I know we're ride? only as free as they say we are. Power is like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things sure. in this country a woman can do much better if you ask me. <coughs> mm -hmm. I argue with that, Miss McFarland. Yeah. What are you saying, McFarland? <laughs> oh, okay. Up one. Bring it down together. Come on. Oh, okay. Alright. 
Alright, we'll do. We got it. I see you. I want you. All right, let's do it. Yeah. I'm in trouble here. Oh. I'm not waiting for nothing. He's just running for the hills. Alright, come here. Come here. Good. Come on, baby. Calm down. Hold on. Calm it down. Come on now. No! Bastard, dude. Stop bouncing. That's it. I got you. God damn it. Almost got you. Come on! Dude, I'm doing the exact same path where I did the first one. What? You said lean with him. I leaned with him. Did I not? Maybe I have to lean opposite of him? If I try that, I feel like I'm coming to work. Yeah, it's worse. See? The okay, we're going for another one. I'm never gonna get the second one. Yeah. We're never gonna get done with this mission at this rate. Getting so irritated. Steady. I never thought I'd get pissed at this fucking game, bro. I'm 
We're gonna talk about it. Dude, I'm getting so fucking pissed off. We haven't got all day. Oh, this is so Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, one of them. Come on. Shut the fuck up, Bonnie. Why aren't you doing jack shit? Why do you guys never do jack shit? What do I have to do? What do I have to do? Eventually, it's just going to be the give me the option to skip. Come on, Mr. Marston, let's rope another one. What are you waiting for? I'm coming. Don't lose them. You got this. Calm it down. Keep at it, Mr. Marston. Oh shit! Try not to spook them too much. Relax now. Are you fucking kidding me, Bonnie? If I'm not pissed off enough, I don't need you running my ass over. Fucking hell. Look at that. Pure natural. Nice work. I think that'll do it for today. Let's get back to the ranch. Thank God. I've never been so angry. <sighs> Fuck, I'm so angry. <laughs> I'm so angry.
Hello there, hey, boss. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. No. 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 On, no. 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 I don't want to what? You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the Oh, I see what's happening here. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No. That's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors. That's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. Around oh, the middle of Hennigan's dead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countrified. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? Huh. From a couple of cheap governesses, Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes. That's all. Oops. Is this where uh, we come back and the ra the barn's on fire? Is that what's going on? Where'd y'all go? I'm not doing this by myself. Or I am. Don't make me shoot you. Because apparently they're making me do this by myself. Come on now. Stop going... Mm. You see, if this game actually gave me people to help me... We could have done this. But no, instead I'm going to have to do this. Yeah, sorry. Nope, wrong thing. <sighs> You're right, I did. Yeah, look at this. Now this is how it was supposed to be, most likely. But we're slow, apparently.
What? No, 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 no. Oh, thank God. Because I, because obviously it's one man job to hurt the whole, whole, the whole. What magnificent animals they are. Where were you? Why? I don't wanna... Come on, horse, stop being a bitch. Where the fuck is this guy going? This guy's just fuck on me now. Okay. Okay, it's down. Let's only do this once, huh? Easy there. Almost got you. Let's go. Come as your own, as a thank you from all of us. Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. What about mine? What about mine, though? What? Come on. Oh, but I won. Okay, let's go see, uh, see what's up with him. Actually, you know, let's go back to Bonnie. You know, I'm kind of, kind of want to get her missions out of the way. Oh, sure. When I was chasing you, you could run, run forever, but now. Breaking a horse again in this game, ever. No.
This is exactly what I said no. Great. I missed playing it a lot. However, the missions at the beginning are kind of boring. Because they're used to get they're used to get you used to the game. So they're like, okay, this is what you need to learn, this is that. And you know. on fire yet. Arch. Nice. Oh yes, yeah, this is crazy. The storm came out of nowhere. coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Okay, storms don't get that bad. I guess during the night, though. No. That sky don't look good. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path but me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Yeah. Some big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't going to give me my wife and kid back. Pastors who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no change uh, in that. Faith is yeah. a luxury I can't afford. We have I suppose. We have two in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. Well, yeah, I... Not to worry about it. Just make sure you don't lose sight of me. Come on! Come on now.
Come on. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Back into the herd, bro. Why can't anyone else help? What do you mean, bro? No one else is helping me. You're not by yourself. You literally have like three more people. Yeah, all of y'all are getting there. Come on now. Are you fucking kidding me? Nice. No, I'll tell you. Back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Oh yeah, for sure. <sighs> Holy shit. Well, y'all, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go save real quick, of course. Because, you know, that's just who I am. No, no, no. Yeah. No, not today. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. I can't. Hey, I, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh man, I can't. I'm almost out of time. So, anyways, y'all. I hope y'all have a good night. It was a joy as always. Um, before I go, as always, you know how we have to leave off with some murder. Alrighty, let's see how many people we can deck.
Why is it going so slow? I can't believe what I saw, Sheriff. What the Sheriff gonna do? What the Sheriff gonna do, huh? You don't come at me. Come at me. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> All right, well, with that, I will talk to y'all guys in the next video. Peace out.